The war in Donbass in the east of Ukraine has lasted for three years, with daily fighting and many civilian casualties. According to the UN, 3.8 million people in Ukraine need humanitarian aid. 2.3 million live in the territory beyond Ukraine's control, including 600,000 in close proximity to the demarcation line. More than 620,000 people need food. Around 38,000 of these are displaced residents who are forced to leave their homes, and more than 200,000 children have been injured. E Reporter speaks to Alexander Vishnyakov, who's the director of the Renat Akhmetov Humanitarian Center, and Natalia Yemchenko, who is a member of the Board of Trustees of the same humanitarian center. Natalia Yemchenko, you are uh, a member of the Board of Trustees of the uh, Rinat Akhmetov Humanitarian Center in, U in Ukraine. Terrible problems still affecting Donbass. 3.8 million people uh, in need of humanitarian aid. Um, many, many casualties. What exactly um, are your plans for the future? How are you intending with the center to deal with this ongoing crisis? Um, the situation is definitely terrible and uh, it's terrible for the last three years. Um, during these three years, uh, Humanitarian Center of Renat Akhmetov uh, do tremendous um, amount of uh, job of help and uh, during this time we help more than one million people uh, in controlled and non-government controlled territories of Donbass. Uh, at the moment uh, the situation is uh, even more complicated than before because from 28th of February of 2017 we are not able to help people who uh, lives in uh, non-government controlled territories so they are without our help unfortunately and without any other help because uh, activity of all humanitarian missions on this territory is restricted now unfortunately uh, so at the moment we are focused on uh, working in the gray zone so it's something like uh, fire zone or line, fire line and uh, at the moment in this zone more than six a hundred thousand people are lived and uh, something like two hundred thousand kids and the situation is terrible because uh, quite often they live without war, uh, water, without uh, gas, without heating, without some basic things and uh, we still help uh, uh, people who were forced to leave their houses and now live on controlled territories uh, mostly uh, uh, elderly people and uh, uh, people who can't care about themselves, um, for example, unable people or with special, with some special needs. So, would you say there is hope for the future then, as far as your center is concerned? Are things improving? Uh, the situation is quite complicated because uh, the amount of people who are in need is tremendous. Uh, definitely we will help them with food when we can and with medicines when we can. Uh, but uh, the final resolution of uh, this terrible situation will be possible only when war will stop, will finish.